hi everyone it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft. Um, today I am coming on to do um, show you one of the new dies I got sent from Andy store which is also RLG Lives and um, but I'm also going to do a tutorial at the same time because I know if I show it people are going to ask for one anyway so I might as well do it now. Um, you do get a lot of parts it is it does take a while to put this together it's not a quick project but it is beautiful when it's done um, I've obviously I've made it once um, it was a hard task I'm not <laughs> deny it there's no instructions but I have figured it out um, but there is a couple of little alterations we'll be making on the you know the one we're going to make today because I did make a couple of mistakes but basically it makes this huge beautiful lantern it is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous the lid will come off and you'll pop your little lights or whatever in so there's a piece missing from here which I couldn't figure out but I think I have now and um, we'll put acetate in and we'll decorate it up beautiful so I think you can see there's a lot to this it really is but it's it is beautiful I remember I saw it in his store a couple of months ago and I kept thinking oh should I order it or what if he sends us it and I didn't and he did so I'm glad I didn't order it but now I'm glad I've got it because it is beautiful. So I'm going to quickly go through what you've got to cut out and how many. Right. So for the basics, the basic construction of the box, you have a piece like this, okay? You need four of these, which are these here, okay? You need four of them, right? So that's that. Um, you also have this piece of window which has score lines all the way around you need four of them which are these ones here okay so you need four of them then you have this piece here which is the base of it you need four of them again so what I've done is I've embossed mine. I've just cut them out, folded them on the score lines and I've run it through an embossing folder. So you need four of them. Then you have this square here. You need one of them. Okay. Then you have piece which is again little score lines round all the four sides you need one of them now this bit I didn't put it in that one because I didn't realize what it was for but this will sit in inside on the base and um, so you can have that if you want in a different card or whatever I've done it in this gold one Um, now that's all the basics I think we'll just go through that for now because I don't want to throw everything at you straight away because that's what we need to start building it up the rest is just you know further going into a, a bit more of the decoration and things of it so this took a long time to figure out <laughs> so you want to be starting off with your four pieces okay I think I forgot to fold that bottom one obviously you have lots of little score lines you just want to fold them on the score line okay now I'm going to do one and show you how to put it together because this um this got me had me puzzled for a while but once it's together it's pretty simple I'm just going to put this down because there's a lot of gluing involved in this. Now, what, what you're going to do is the short sides, so the top and the bottom, the short sides, 
you're going to fold them over and they're going to create like a you know what I mean like a little frame okay now when you do the side ones they're going to create another frame but what you want to do is then keep going along with the score lines and these actually kind of go in on a chamfered way where they will end up like that can you see where it's like it's chamfered like a picture frame like mitered I suppose the word would be because that is so that you can join all four of the sides together they literally just join and, and if it's just square like the top there's going to be nothing for them to stick to so you need to it should go that way anyway but if it doesn't just remember to just push it in and it will end up in like this kind of this shape I hope you can see what I mean where it's it's mitered so you need to do before anything that's what I do anyway just get all these glued together all the little into a little frame so I'm just going to do one I just don't want this video to go on and on because it there is a lot to do in this so you just really need we we'll do the square the top and bottom first so you just really need glue along there okay and then you're just gonna roll it over and you're just gonna create this kind of square frame shape you're going to do this on the bottom one it's not sticking of course it won't because I think I'm being impatient and wanting it to stick and you've got to wait for the glue to dry but I do think glue is better to use for this okay and then you want the same with the bottom bit of glue on here and then just roll it round so you've got like a, a square I don't really know what the word is but just think of like a little frame if you were making a little frame and it just isn't sticking for me today Okay. Now as I said, your side, you're going to put glue down this bit here and you're going to do what you did before, you're going to follow round with the little score lines and the folds and it's going to kind of mitre in like this on can you see that on an angle so it's like it's mitered in the sides so you're going to do that with all four of your pieces okay so I'm going to stick these down and I'll be back when it's done okay so you should have glued your four frames together 
and now have four frames okay they're just like little picture frames I suppose the next thing we're going to do is I told you we need to cut out four of these windows with the score lines around them so what you're going to do is you're going to turn your frame so you have the back part facing you so it's the wrong way and then you're going to put glue all down your little flaps here and you're basically just going to press it in here and glue it down and then I've already done it with three of them and you're going to end up with four pieces that are like that and then this is what I'm saying about this kind of mitered side or you know chamfered side is where it's going to all join together like this okay so they're all mitered in like you know like you would mitre a skirting board or something so I'm going to show you how we glue these in so when you've had when you've done your frames you take your little window piece and then you just put a little bit of glue or I suppose tape if you prefer and just put it all around so turn it so the back side is facing you and then you're just basically going to pop it on there and you're just going to push it down and it should just slot inside and then you're just going to be obviously pressing along the sides to stick it to the side of the frame just make sure it's all stuck down as best you can I mean this is going to be the inside so you will get bits of glue and stuff around it can't be helped but like I say this is going to be the inside of the little lantern so that's going to be the, the side that's facing out so I've done mine four times now you're obviously going to have to do yours four times as well and I think this is probably the most time consuming bit is this bit here getting all these frames together well the walls of the lantern really that's what they are now I want to put acetate in mine this time so what I've done is I've just cut four pieces of acetate and they measure roughly four and three quarter inches by three and a half inches and then what we're going to do again is turn it to the inside and then we are going to stick our acetate just in like that with a bit of tape or glue and then we will have our lovely little windows in so I'm going to get on and do that and I'll be back when it's done okay so I've put all of the acetate windows in I've just stuck it in with them um, I used red liner tape now I don't know if I showed you this bit but I can't remember if I said that you have to cut four you also get another window now this one doesn't have any score lines or anything it just cuts out a window and what that's for is it's to just line over the top you could do it in a different color whatever you want and what I've done is I've run mine through an embossing folder because I wanted some texture on it and the reason I did that is because I wanted to use Gildan wax so I've got this Peebo uh, Empire Gold and I mean I think I've had this two year and <laughs> will probably last you 20 year or something I mean it's I think it's 10 or 11 pound but it's well worth it and because that's what I wanted to do now I've done three of them so I've just basically 
put the gilding wax on and obviously it's picked up all the beautiful little patterns from the embossing folder which I think looks beautiful. I've done the same to the little legs as well. I've put the gilding on most of them because I wanted to you know pick it up from somewhere else and I thought it's best to do this because if I had just stuck this on then did the gilding wax I know fine well I would get it all over the acetate and I don't want that so it would look really messy so all you need to do I mean I've just ordered this in silver and bronze as well because I've got some really lovely tutorials coming up in the next couple of weeks I've got loads of things planned so we're going to be using this another couple of times it's you know you can get some beautiful effects so you just dab you only need a tiny tiny little bit and I just dab a little bit off because I don't want to put it on harsh straight away and then you just very gently just rub over with your finger and you don't need a lot I mean you can make it more apparent or a bit more darker if you want it's entirely up to you but that's just basically all you do and as you can see you only need the tiniest bit and then you just take like a little kitchen paper or a little duster or something a rag and just rub, buff it over and it's as simple as that so that's the windows and I've got one more of the little foot to do now I don't need to bother with the folded piece because that's going to be getting glued so we only really need to do the bottom half Okay, and that's that so what I'm gonna do because I want to get this off before it gets everywhere is I'm gonna just take the little windows I'm just gonna give them a buff over and then I am just gonna glue them straight onto there and I think straight away that is gonna look gorgeous so I'll be back when that's done okay so that is what the windows are looking like and they are absolutely beautiful so definitely get some gilding wax if you don't have any um, so I've started to glue a couple of the pieces of the feet together it's dead easy I'll just move them out of the way so you've got these little pieces here and all you're going to do is just push the bottom up and then just push them in like this and you're just going to put glue on there and then you're going to come along and glue your next one on and you need this little piece at the bottom because it acts as like extra little you know kind of stubs for it to stand on so it's not just wobbling about as you can see there so you just basically just push them in a little bit just a bit of glue on them just like that and you just come along with the next piece and you will just glue it like this and just hold it in until it glues and then we'll do the same with this last piece here so you should have what looks like this now 
and then take the large plain square and that is going to get glued on to the top of here. you're going to do is actually I wouldn't stick it on there yet I would do that bit last so you're just going to put glue down all the sides and then you are just going to basically press them together like that that's why you have to kind of chamfer the sides in if you get what I mean once you get the first one on it's it's pretty easy but you just have to press them and just glue them all the way around and then you'll just end up with you know a square of the windows so it could take a while to get it all glued so I'm going to do it off camera and then when I come back we'll put glue on the bottom and then we'll glue it on to this base and then we just have the lid to do okay so I have glued it together and basically that's what you end up with just you know your four walls of windows so we're going to turn it upside down and we're going to put glue all the way around here and then we're going to glue it to our base make sure that's stuck right so that's it up to now oh that's beautiful okay so the next bit is this one here which has the four little tabs all the way around so you just want to fold them over and what this is for think anyway is this will just sit inside there's like a little um it's kind of like a little group a little section in the bottom here where it just kind of sits in and I mean yes you can glue it in but knowing me I'm gonna get glue everywhere so I don't think I'm gonna glue mine in not at the minute anyway because I, I know I'm just gonna get glue everywhere. Yeah, there's like a sort of a little, a little recess where it should just sit in. <clears throat> and obviously, it's not gonna go in at the minute. That's it. There we go. And that's just to like you know elevate your your candle up or whatever and then I think it just gives a nice little reflection on the bottom so you can I'm not going to bother gluing mine in I'm just gonna I mean it, it's pretty sturdy anyway and the chances are I'm just gonna get glue on, on the inside of the windows right the next bits where I had a problem so the the fancy lid has to sit on um a couple of extra like pieces a bit like that where they have a recess in the middle and then it would sit on there now the only bit that i had left that i hadn't used when i got to this point was this okay but the only problem that i can see is it only has three sides and I could not work this out and I still haven't and I thought well that's just stupid why <laughs> there's nothing else it can be for so the only thing I can think is that they've done it like that so that it doesn't need a big shot plus or an A4 machine you know if it had that side on it, it's not going to fit in a normal machine 
that's the only thing I can think of and I put it together with the three sides I stuck it on the top and obviously it looked ridiculous because one of the sides was open so what I've done is I've cut it out and that's what it looks like but what I've done is I've cut it out twice and then the, the next bit that I cut out the second one I just snipped this whole piece away opposite the bit that doesn't have anything on it which ended up like this and I kept it and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue it on here like this no wrong way this yeah I'm going to glue it on there because otherwise I just I don't really understand understand it um that's the only thing I can think of and unless I'm completely wrong and it's for something else but it has got me baffled this bit so yeah I just literally cut that whole thing off so on the second one you cut out just just cut this bit away keep it and then all I'm going to do is just glue it like it would be if it had the proper piece on it which that's the only thing I can think of is that if they did it that way it wouldn't fit into a, a normal size machine but I don't know I'm probably completely wrong but this was the only piece that I had left and I thought well because if you go on the photographs on Andy's store um, there's two pieces that are built up on top of the box one of them is this one here and then the only one I had left was this and I thought well why would they design it where one of the sides is missing because it just looked stupid on the other box I wish I'd kept it oh yeah I have yeah I've kept it so that's it cut out with its three sides but look you're left with that so if you go to put this on your box which is what you're supposed to do when you turn it it's all right but then on the last side there's a gap just I hope you get what I mean and I thought well that's just ridiculous so this is what I've done I've just altered it to what I think it should be and if I'm wrong I'm wrong but we'll see won't we so we're just going to fold on the score lines and obviously if this fits and works well then I must be right then because I know some people obviously don't want to don't have an A4 machine and they don't really want to buy an A4 machine for whatever reason and then they can't buy the dies because they can't fit them in so the only thing I can think of is that's why he's done it because I tried it and obviously it will fit everything goes through a normal machine everything does on this set but not if I had put four sides on this this bit wouldn't go through so I don't know there isn't any reference or there's nothing just me to work it out so I hope I've done it right because it's, it's it really is a beautiful die and I mean not just that but you could do loads of other things with that those little windows and things you could make fancy cards with windows in them you could maybe make you know a little house or something which that's what I'm planning on doing so you don't just have to use it for a lantern so this is just going to be the same thing as what we've done with the other pieces like I've done with this bit with three bits on you're just going to basically fold them round and glue it together and then what happens i think is this sits on sorry here. the uh, camera was full the memory i'm not surprised 
all right so i was right it does work and i've just literally glued it on the top so i don't the only thing i can think of is they've done it so that it fits in a normal size machine so then you have this little tiny piece left which i showed you the first time and then that just glues on to the top of there so you have like you know two little pieces which that's what it's like in on the photograph so i'm just going to put glue down here you get these are for the lid you need to cut four of them out one of them and one of them okay so i've got four here i've got one of them i've just folded the little score lines and then this one i've cut in gold and all you're going to do with this one is you're going to fold it you're going to glue the little circle a little bit not the base though because what you're going to do is when we put it through it's going to get folded back like that so it gets glued so i'll just quickly show you what i mean just put a little bit of glue just around the circle bit and just glue that bit together and I've just obviously cut this bit in gold because that's like your little handle for the top. So I folded the score lines on that. And then on all of these, you want to fold your score line at the bottom. And then these little kind of little score lines here. And all you want to do is you want to glue. I'll just do it with you. So we just glue this onto here okay just like this all right so you've got that then take your next piece again just fold on the score lines this is just time that's all it's just fiddly you have to wait for the glue to dry <clears throat> again you're going to glue this on here but you're going to make sure that those tabs are tucked underneath this piece here so don't put it on like that you need them to be down so that you can put a bit of glue and all you're going to kind of do is you know sort of maneuver it around so that you get that kind of shape I mean just take your time with it otherwise you know you don't want it being messy so I'm going to do that and then when you've done that all we need to do is just basically put this through here okay and then as I said you just want to open them out like this and just glue them on the underside and that stops the little thing from coming out and then that's the lid done so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to I've cut out some pretty ivy and stuff. I'm going to drape it around the box and then I'll show you when it's all finished. So I hope you've understood it. I know it's a lot, but it is beautiful, but it is a lot of work in it, but it's gorgeous. So I'll put the link to it um, and I'll be back when I've done this lid and decorated it with the ivy. Okay, it's finished and I am so glad and it is gorgeous, I hope well I hope you think it is isn't that just absolutely beautiful and it, you can't really see it fully because it's so tall but I put all the ivy down the side there's the lid which fits perfectly and all the um, gilding and embossing that is beautiful absolutely beautiful and i honestly think if you like saw that in a shop you know from a bit of a distance you wouldn't think it wasn't you wouldn't believe it was paper really i think but yeah that there's a lot of work in this but you kind of deny that's not worth it um 
So this one's for my mum because she loves the stuff that I make. She's got the other ones that I made without the dies that I did myself. The Christmas tree, so I'm going to be taking this up for her this week. And I don't think she's going to believe it's just paper and card. And then I'm going to make one for myself. So I think the, the trick is to take your time with the folds. The neater you get all these little folds, you know, the neater it's going to look. I mean, I, um, it's not perfect, far from it. You know, there's a lot I wish I could have, you know, done a little better. But that's the trick, I think. Just the more time you take and the neater the folds are, you know, the better it's going to look. Um, but yeah, the lid just pops off and you put your little tea lights. Oh, I'm going to see if I can get some nice pictures of it later when it's dark with the lights. Some little tea lights and then that just basically just pops back in the top. So I must have been right about that piece with three sides. I can't think of any other way. So yeah absolutely beautiful so i know it's been a long one but i really wanted to show you how to put it together because i think 90 percent of people or even 95 percent of people are not going to have a clue how what you do and you know i'm not an expert it took me hours to work this out um but it's done now and i love it so thanks for watching take care and bye for now